What's our evidence that genetically modified food is safe? So, so Pamela, how do we, what's our evidence that uh, a genetically modified food stuff is, is safe? Because that's been a big issue out there, a big concern. And can we genetically modify food to lower anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> Kill two birds with one stone on that one. Hey, man, while we're at it, why don't we get to it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Clean yeah. it all up. Yeah. Well, every crop must be looked at on a case-by-case -case basis, whether it's genetically engineered or developed through mutagenesis. Um, but what we do know is that every major scientific organization in the world, including the National Academy of Sciences, the European Food Safety Authority, and many other organizations have concluded that the process of genetic engineering is no more risky than conventional breeding. And in fact, genetic engineering has been used for 40 years. It's been used in cheeses, in medicine, and in crops. And there hasn't been a single case of harm to human health or the environment. And I think it's important to remember that these are the same organizations that most of us trust when it comes to the safety of vaccines or the effects of a cl changing climate. Oh, well, in that case, you're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can see it's very politicized. So the scientific consensus is very clear. It doesn't matter if you live in France or if you live in the United States, the scientific community has reached a consensus. But you see that these different um, these are three hot topics, vaccines, climate change, and so-called GMOs that have been extremely politicized, making it very, very difficult for consumers to really access accurate science-based information.